home and working my son out every day. And I got a call uh, from Charles about the job, and it was yes immediately. And uh, I had already done my research uh, about Texas Southern, not this year, but in the past. And uh, it is the best job in the conference. Um, so it was a no-brainer for me to accept this position. And I'd like to thank the president uh, and Charles for this wonderful opportunity. My wife is here with me. I have two sons up in the, in the room, probably ordering room service. <laughs> yeah, I got a nice meal when I get back. <laughs> I got I love Houston. Houston is a basketball city. Yeah. Uh, great basketball. Uh, John Lucas is doing a terrific job with his training. Um, believe it or not, this is our God work. I, I, I've been online watching his uh, work and his training over, over the summer because I have a seventh grade son who I want to be a really good basketball player. So we've been watching his workouts. And now I'm here in the city of Houston to uh, take my son over and, and work with, uh, yeah, yeah. with uh, Coach Lucas. Uh, I tried to hire Coach Cooper uh, uh, about five, six years ago. Yeah. Maybe that. Uh, as my assistant coach on the men's side. And, right. uh, because uh, anytime you are, you are a great basketball player uh, and that she has a great feel and knowledge of the game, um, just want to be a part of it. Now God has brought us together now uh, as a staff. And so uh, I'm truly blessed and I'm truly uh, excited about the opportunity. I had a chance to talk to the players yesterday and uh, I told them that uh, your dreams and your work has to match. And if they does not match, then you're just kidding yourself. And so my vision for this basketball program is to, to not only win a, a SWAG championship, but also have the highest GPA uh, in the SWAG. And, uh, It takes a lot of work um, at UAB over the last three years. We have set a, uh, set a record each year as far as GPA step point. Three years ago, we had a 2.9, and the next year we had 2.98, and this year we have over 3.2. So um, your work and your dreams and your vision, they have to match. And that's my message to my, to my team. Uh, this year, my main focus and our motto would be no complaining. No blame and no excuses. Um, those three things have, have really destroyed confidence in teams and relationships. And um, in this book I read, it, had, it said that we have two dogs inside of us, one positive and one negative. And the one that you feed the most is the one that has strength. So uh, we're going to try to stay on the positive side, um, no matter what we do, uh, in the classroom, uh, on, on the basketball court. And I expect for my basketball team to respect the classroom the way they respect the basketball court. Uh, not one of my players, if they're late, they won't be able to practice. If they're not giving a great effort, they won't be able to, uh, to play in the game. So I expect the same uh, focus in the classroom. And if you can do that, APR is a funny thing. Most people don't understand APR. APR is that you have to have a 2.6 GPA for it not to hurt you. It's not, it's, not, it's not about retention. It's not about being eligible. You need a 2.6. A kid can have a 2.5 and transfer, and you lose a point. You have 2.5. Um, a kid could not be eligible and not have a 2.6 and lose and leave. You lose two points. And so there's a lot of kids that's leaving with a 2.5, and it really causes your university trouble because a 2.5 is good, but a 2.6 is what the NCAA requires uh, from a GPA standpoint. So uh, just because you have a poor APR, it doesn't mean that you are doing a poor job with your students is that they decide to leave your school at 2.5 and you lose a point. And so it's my job as a coach to uh, have a weekly meeting with the academics uh, to make sure that we understand um, the, the course score for the week, the test, uh, what their GPA would be at all times. And it's my, it's my job as the leader of this program to make sure that uh, the basketball players leave with not only graduate but a high GPA so they can really survive out in the real world. Um, we want to be the best basketball team uh, in the conference, but we also want to be the best student athletes in the conference. And I don't want just basketball players. If you come to Texas Southern just to be a basketball player, I may be the wrong coach uh, because it's my job as a leader to make sure that uh, we, we achieve the highest GPA, graduate guys, be able to get them jobs, and they are our best recruiters in the future. I'm, if you have any questions for me, um, 
feel free to ask. If not, then I really appreciate this opportunity. I'm a one heartbeat coach, one heartbeat. Football, uh, women's basketball, soccer, volleyball. Uh, you will see my family and I at the games uh, all the time. Um, I keep snacks in my office, so uh, a lot of <laughs> basketball, volleyball, all your, all your players are always welcome to my office. Uh, because snacks will get them to your office. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have a relationship with not just the basketball players, but I want that relationship with, with all the sports on campus. So, any questions? Coach Davis, is any one or two things you can specifically zoom in on that made the TSU opportunity most, uh, I guess, impressive to you as a position that you'd like to have? Well, first of all, I didn't have a job. The biggest gift God gave us is time in our minds. And I didn't want to waste time sitting around and doing anything, so that's why I really started working my son out. And uh, we all get $168 a week. And so when the call was made for me then, when the charge called me, I think he was surprised. I really do. I think I, think I surprised him uh, because he, uh, he offered me a job on an interim basis. And I'm like, yes. You know, because uh, I want to be a great leader. I want to be a great leader. And uh, being a great leader, it, it's, it's, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of practice, it's a lot of ups and downs. And um, I want to lead young men. Uh, I want to make sure they go out and into society that they can look back and say, you know, Coach Davis did a great job with me. And so uh, this is the best job, hands down. Facilities, uh, my office that I have now is better than the office I've ever had. <laughs> 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 Two players that played for me and they, they, they uh, 
of eligibility up didn't graduate. The one was one class away, and the one was two classes away. And the one that was one class away, um, he came and stayed in my house after he finished the eligibility because I wanted him to get his degree. I proved his mother that he would get his degree. And so it's all about the future. It's not about basketball. Uh, it's about if, if you're 21 when you finish, and if you're fortunate to have a, a career plan, you're 31, you still have to live a long time. And now, as I told my friends today, you know, time is, to, is so, so important. I'm 51 years old now, and um, if I live to be 8, I have 29 summers left in my life, and so I have to take advantage of, of, of every summer. And so do they. They don't understand that. They don't understand that. Uh, they only have three or four summers left in their college career, some one, some two, some three. And so once you're in the real world, we are the last line as coaches um, to correct them without it, it being a big consequence in their life. You go in the real world, you get fired, you lose your job. And so if you see my players, um, feel free to talk to them about academics and, and how important it is to have a job and they keep a job. And um, it's going to be a process for some of the players. But uh, I want to be a part of this program. And, you know, I can't thank these guys enough for thanking my family and not giving us this place and this opportunity. Can we come to the game? You can come to practice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got some tickets. Uh, Coach Cooper and I was talking in the hall, and uh, my practices are always open. You know, um, I don't have any secrets, uh, and, and I'm, I'm, I want you to be a part of it. I'm a one hard beat coach. At Indiana, um, my practice is open. Uh, if you have recruits that you want to bring in the locker room, before the game, at halftime, after the game, and um, I'm, I'm more than welcome, you know, uh, because this is this is a family, and uh, my family can go anywhere. Because I told my family they didn't come to my office, they ain't got in my office, uh, even if I'm not there, you know, and they can come to my house. My house is always open. I'm not going to entertain them at my house, but I'll entertain my kids. So all I ask them to do is, if you, if you mess up, clean up. Because I have my boss lady over here that she's gonna have to get on them, she's gonna get on me. So and that's I'm here. But again, I'm, I'm really happy to be here. Have you had enough time to evaluate any talent, look uh any film, anything to uh, have an a, a, a estimation as what kind of philosophy, basketball philosophy you will well, have uh, on the court? That's another reason I took the job. Good team coming back. <laughs> 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 back that, you come in and the cover is definitely not bad. Uh, finalists in the swag tournament last year with the majority of those players to come back and an outstanding point guard uh, that's eligible this year. Can you talk about, uh, in the brief time that you've had to evaluate and what you think about the swamp? Very, very, very good talent. And as a basketball coach, uh, I think talent is always underrated. I think because talent will win your championships. Um, uh, I think that the team that I had to play for the national championship, I had three guards on my team that never dunked the basketball in the whole college career. You know, it's all about heart, it's all about effort, and it's all about knowing what you're doing. And, and, and there's two things that upset me, uh, uh, two things I asked for my basketball team, get great effort and all what we're doing. You know, always prepare. If you do that on the basketball court, as you said, in, in the classroom. If you prepare and get great effort in the classroom, you have a chance to win it. Same in the basketball court. Uh, we do have, from what I've seen on tape, very good talent. But it's my job as, as the leader of this program to make sure that we are the hardest playing team in the conference. Uh, we play Michigan State, we play Northwestern, uh, we play uh, Colorado. You don't beat those guys in November. Win those games now. It's how you prepare it, it's your approach now. You, you can't get that fired up or that hyped up to beat a team like that if you're not prepared. So uh, my message to them was, they're going home, run, work, they come back from school, start, they're going to work out. I film every practice, I film every workout. Uh, I watch practice tape like I watch a game tape. So um, it's my job to prepare them, but it's their job also to get great effort. Coach, <coughs> uh, Coach Cooper, uh, first and foremost, um, welcome to Tigerland. My name is Chris LeBron, class of 1996. And do you have any, uh, have you done any homework on the Southwestern Athletic Conference with some of the perennial powerhouses within the basketball realm of the conference? Well, I have to be prepared. That's, that's, that's <laughs> my uh, I wouldn't have taken this job unless it was the best job in this conference. Uh, 
Um, and we do have good talent. We have very good basketball teams in this conference, especially on the road. And as a, as a coach, the one thing coaches understand, you have a really good basketball team and you can play the same no matter where you are. No matter what basketball court you go on, you have a really good basketball team. Your team can play the same way. And so I want my basketball team to be hard-nosed, play hard, play together uh, on the road as well as home. The home crowd can get you going at home, but when you're on the road, I want, I want those players to be the same way at home on the road. And that's when you really have a good basketball team. You can walk into a good arena and, and focus and play uh, with the same passion, with the same energy, and the same concentration. Thank you, Doug.